Hello everyone, we are back with yet another bullet journal video. In today's video, I'm going to take you through my May spread. I decided to do my calendar on one page this month and the theme for this month's spread are cherry blossoms. I've been putting my brain spill section along with my online orders and my upcoming events all in one page and it's been working really well for me for the past couple of months so I decided to do it like that this month again and then to the right I have my May favorites and I put another home improvement section in this month just like I did last month because I've been doing a lot of things to the new house so I just need to keep track of everything then moving on as always i have my bill section which i separate into the bill type the amount when it's due and when i pay it i just put a little check mark underneath i have my expenses the one two three and four just represent each week out of the month and i just write down all of the expenses that i have per week and then to the right this month i decided to add an earnings section which is going to be used to keep track of what i earn in a month for doing things like collaborations or sponsored posts or what i earn for being a rep for glossier and things like that and now we're moving into the live weekly setup that i always do with you guys and again i say this in every single one of my bullet journal videos but if you're new to my videos and you have any questions on the sections that I mentioned previously, just refer back to the first bullet journal that I ever made. I go in depth into every single section. I always link the first bullet journal video that I ever made in the description down below. So first to add some shading to my sketch, I go in with the N75 Tombow brush pen from the Grayscale pack. Then I go in with number 912 from the Portrait palette from the Tombow brush pens. I get these on Amazon by the way, I link everything down below. And I'm just using the same technique that I always use. I do little dots in the areas that I want the most concentration. And I go in with my blender, which is N00 from the Grayscale pack. And I just blend everything out. And to add just a tiny bit more color, I went in with number 772 from the same portrait palette and I just did little dots where I wanted the pink to show up and I went in and blended everything and then just to finish everything off I went in with number N75 again from the grayscale pack to deepen or add some shadows to the flowers and if you look at my last bullet journal video where I did the cacti theme for the flowers, I did the same technique and I feel like it gives it kind of a watercolor vibe. So I'm really, really loving mixing colors lately. And again, this week's spread is very minimal, but since I have so much going on, I really do need the extra space. And that is everything for this month's bullet journal setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video.